Hi guys. I was um, at a crypto meetup and there was one guy telling, first time I met him, that um, he sold all his crypto uh, and uh, invested in um, uranium mining companies as he believes that uh, nuclear energy uh, will, um, well, is uh, that uranium well that nuclear energy is a very good investment but the way to invest in it is via uranium mining companies because uranium has gone down a lot in value it was valued at $120 and it went down the past nine years to $20 and in 20 um, in 2000 till, uh, in 2003 it bottomed out at ten dollars it had, go had also again gone down then for 10 20 years I don't know exactly uh, from a, a, a much higher valuation went down to ten dollars then had the bull market from 2003 till 2011 I think uh, and then um, uh, 220 dollars and now it correct back to 20 dollars and, uh, and, and, and and for me I found this uh, such an interesting story uh, because I really believe in nuclear energy I think it is highly undervalued in general by society um, mm, um, uh, of course uh, with nuclear energy you have the small risk very 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 small risk that uh, an accident happens huh? um, uh, and of course that gives a very wide area of pollution but um, um, that's worth taking the risk uh, in my opinion because um, the, the energy you create from nuclear is tremendous and very cheap uh, and, and, uh, and actually very green uh, and yeah um, uh, uh, so so uh, and very safe actually uh, with the exception of these uh, well few accidents that did happen here the latest one in Japan um, but yeah of course you build a nuclear power plant next to the ocean and, and you know in advance you're gonna have tsunamis from time to time because you live in an earthquake uh, earthquake uh, region yeah it's not very smart of course so there's a lot that can be done um, to, to, to make uh, nuclear reactors more safe and, uh, and, and the big accident before that was 30 years before or 40 years when Russia in communist times uh, did some stupid stuff with a, 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 with a, a reactor uh, that blew up also but these are the few accidents eh? but the whole society or most of humanity uh, due to that is against nuclear but the reality is that nuclear is the cheapest form of energy and the most recent innovation in energy and and, and a great innovation and, uh, and 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 that till today many new power plants are being built um, uh, by those that really need it uh, those that really need cheap energy uh, and that's now China, but in the future we'll have many other regions that are going to uh, grow a lot and, and will also want to have cheap energy. So, so, so this will continue to be the case. Wind and solar is, is, is nice, but uh, the amount of energy input uh, you get versus uh, uh, you have to put in to get some energy out is, 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 is much, much different and much higher. And these are actually very old technologies. Huh? Uh, I mean, in the in Middle Ages, we all lived from uh, wind energy uh, and and uh, and um, and, uh, and solar energy, and um, I mean, times have moved on. Uh, these 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 uh, these these sources of energy, uh, for the most part, uh, find uh, a market because they are subsidized, huh? uh, and and nuclear energy is highly taxed. Um, but still, then um, nuclear uh, will uh, flourish in such a such a, a bad climate. It still flourishes. 
Um, so, 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 uranium is absolutely necessary. And um, uh, what you see is a, a typical commodity cycle here, where um, I just have to look out eh, that I'm safe here because I'm in a park with all kind of animals. And uh, yeah, so. Um, yeah, the commodity cycle is very interesting because we're again at a low. If you look at the S&P 500 versus commodity valuations, there's such an index. I will post uh, that chart in the description of the video as well as the chart of nuclear price of uh, uranium prices. But uh, you were at a, a low again of valuations of commodities versus stocks. Uh, stocks are, are, are again highly, highly, very high versus commodities. So it's very likely we're going to get uh, another seven or nine year commodity cycle where commodities go up versus stocks um, and um, uh, but, but and so this will also be the case extremely likely for um, uranium um, but but much more so in my opinion because it has been so uh, neglected um, um, Financially, uh, investors uh, don't like it. Eh? The average investor thinks like the average uh, TV channel and the average politician, which is, it's bad and it's not the future. It's actually the inverse. Uh, it is the future, uh, but it is really not valued as such, um, in my opinion. Eh? Uh, and, um, and so, uh, I, I, I'm so fascinated by this story because I, I've long thought in what to invest my crypto gains and I don't want to invest in crypto related uh, investments of course I want to diversify into something that's not related to it and and I've long thought and considered about investing in gold and gold mining stocks my previous favorite before I discovered crypto but it just doesn't make sense for me I can't pull, pull the trigger on that one because I just don't see a future anymore for um, gold uh, I think together uh, with fiat, it will lose its um, its 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 purpose in society as money. Uh, and this actually is not a prediction; it's a fact. It's been happening for 400 years that gold has been going going down in 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 in, in, in real purchasing power. Uh, it hasn't kept up with real inflation. Uh, over the long term, uh, in the short term, of course, ev with every commodity cycle, gold will, will also go up. But um, still, I, I want to invest in something that, um, in that I see uh, to become more more used in the future and not less. And and this is the case for gold. I think it will be less used in the future um, by the average human being. Um, whereas uh, nuclear energy will be more used in the future by an average human being, um, gold will still p have a purpose as, 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 as of course a precious metal. Um, um, but uh, but uh, its function as money, uh, for example, be stored in bullion form. Uh, uh, this will go down over time, just like it just happened with silver. Like there are still some. Uh, there's some billion storage in silver, but uh, it's going down. Uh, once upon a time, bronze was also precious metal, and people were storing this in bullion form too, uh, and even iron. Uh, this is all gone. Eh? Uh, so you see that uh, what happened to bronze will happen is happening to silver. What happened to silver will happen to gold. So it's on its way out. Um, um, and that's why, and especially now, I think with crypto, it's it's going to go much faster for fiat and gold to lose uh, its function in society. Uh, just on a side note, I think gold also only exists because uh, only is valued as money because fiat can't deliver. Uh, it's 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 um, it's good to pay people with fiat, but it's not good to store fiat. Eh? Like the value goes down too quickly. So gold is needed for that like okay you pay with fiat and you save in gold that's the world of today but with crypto this is gonna disappear very quickly because in crypto you can spend and save eh? at least if you have the right crypto eh? <laughs> but uh, so so yeah um, 
um, uh, but, uh, but but that's why it's I, I can't pull the trigger to invest again in gold mining companies when I see these guys busy on TV gold miners I'm always thinking it's fun eh? I, I would like to do that too it seems like a challenge to find gold and all that but you're in the wrong business <laughs> Um, and that's very important. You have to be in a business that is uh, growing, not in a business that's declining. You make yourself, uh, you make your life hard. And it's the same with investors. Uh, invest in a, in, a, in a business that's that's expanding. It's going to be much easier for you. Um, and, and what I find so interesting is um, crypto. Of course, is a, of course a business that's expanding. But uh, but of course, then you have valuation also, uh, and, and valuation has gone up a lot in crypto. And everybody agrees it's the future. It's priced in. Uh, um, so um, uh, what I find so attractive to the nuclear story is that it is also the future, but it is not recognized as such. Uh, I really like that. So so so, and then the question is, how will I play this? Uh, I've had some thoughts. I could approach this like the crypto market, where uh, I invest in just a few, uh, and then I really try to make it happen for these few coins. But <laughs> I'm not gonna do that with uh, nuclear companies, of course, or or, or um, uranium miners. I don't know anything about the business, but also, <laughs> well, uh, if I see what I did wrong in crypto as an investor. It was exactly that, picking just a few and then picking the wrong horses and uh, and getting disappointed and selling at a relative low price and, and, and then picking other horses. Okay, uh, you can do that, but uh, if I would have just approached it, for example, I would have bought just the index of uh, the 100 cryptos that were in existence. Uh, uh, five years ago in 2013 uh, or, or 2011 or 2010 uh, sorry I started in 2012 so I could have uh, applied a strategy to inv just buy the index um, and then uh, sell um, buy them all uh, and then um, I could buy them in relation to how, how high they are valued uh, so so at that time it was 90% Bitcoin so okay 90% Bitcoin and then some others uh, but um, uh, 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 but uh, as time progresses, there are other coins coming on the market, so I buy also a piece of that uh, based on how high they are valued, and 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 that way I expand uh, the portfolio with all these coins. And then I think an interesting twist on this is you could just keep it like that. That's a traditional index fund. You can do it with stocks, with cryptos. But I think a very interesting twist on that is. Okay, you buy the index, but when something pumps a lot, uh, so let's say it, it, it moves up in the ranking by, I don't know, you take some kind of number that's realistic and happens from time to time. Eh? So, so, so it cuts its uh, number, let's say it's, uh, it cuts its number in half. Eh? Um, uh, then you sell a piece of that and you diversify it over, over the other coins. Eh? So, um, because often certain things pump and then fall back again. Uh, and that uh, is, is a profit generator. Uh, on the other hand, certain things pump and they continue to pump. <laughs> uh, like Ethereum, for example, in the crypto world. Yeah, okay, then you've sold uh, your position over time. That, that That's, of course, a negative. So maybe you can just keep it simple by an index. But I think that way, financially, um, I would have certainly done uh, equally well uh, uh, as I did uh, with uh, my other strategy. And... Um, it requires much less time eh, and, and, and study. So, so uh, buying the index of, of uranium mining companies makes a lot of sense to me. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think that's a good way to play it. I think uh, when it comes to uh, nuclear energy, I can highly recommend the book uh, of Julian Simon, uh, The Ultimate Resource, uh, the second edition. Uh, this is uh, available for free online. I think this is the best book, one of the best books I've ever read uh, and really formed me as a human being and as an investor and as an entrepreneur uh, because this book is just amazing. Uh, so in, in, in summary, it just states, Julian Simon, uh, that the, 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 the things are improving for humankind and for the animals and, um, and for the environment. Uh, and, and, and he uses all kind of statistics to prove that. And, and, and I think that's just genius. Uh, sadly, he died, but um, um, yeah, I also have some interviews with him on my channel. I have a, a playlist uh, of my heroes and, and he's in there. Very good interviews. 
but uh, but 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 he also has a, a big chapter on nuclear energy and uh, and and he 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 loved it and uh, he he really I uh, uses I uh, really debunks all the arguments against it. Uh, I find this uh, very very interesting. Um, so yeah, uh, I hope uh, you guys enjoyed the video. Um, very beautiful here. And let's not show only the beauty of nature, but also... A little beautiful deer. Not eaten. And the same happens with investors. A lot. Don't be that one.